Welcome to another study abroad pre-departure orientation video entitled Cultural Adjustment. This video will give you some great advice on how to prepare to experience a culture that might be very different than your own. Let's dive in. Adjusting to an entirely different culture can be a complex and surprisingly personal experience. And the best advice we can give you is get ready to be uncomfortable. Being uncomfortable often means that you're learning something new, having your views challenged and growing as a person. It's normal and the main purpose for studying abroad. That said, there are plenty of things you can do to prepare yourself if you set clear goals for yourself, keep your expectations flexible, and anticipate high and low points. Traveling abroad is a challenge. Be prepared to feel really on top of things and also to feel a little bit lost and confused. Don't worry, it'll be okay. The best advice we can give you is to research as much about your destination as you can. As a visitor there, it's your job to know about them. And there are a ton of great resources out there for exactly this purpose. International news outlets like the New York Times, the LA Times, the BBC, and The Economist offer fantastic large-scale insights into what's happening in a country, while independent travel guides like Fromers and Lonely Planet offer a more intimate look at the day-to-day -day life you can expect. Also, don't forget that a number of your fellow CSUF students have already gone through the study abroad program. Reach out to them to get tips and tricks you won't get anywhere else. First-hand experience counts for a lot. Finally, there might be some international exchange students from your destination country at CSUF. Talking to them is a great way to learn about your destination, get acclimated a bit to the accent, and even practice a bit of the language if that's applicable. In general, here are the types of things you should know about your host country. Names of the major political leaders and parties. Their major religions and spiritual beliefs. Any particularly hot news topics at the time of your trip what type of government they have, the economic conditions of the country at the time, the local languages, customs, and immigration trends, and any relevant class structures. It wouldn't be a bad idea to refresh yourself on a few tidbits about America before you head abroad either. Your status as a foreigner there might open you up to certain conversations, and it's always best to have a good answer. Things like the U.S. role in your host country's history, economy, or politics, if any, the U.S.'s involvement in world affairs at the moment, any international views of Americans your host country might be a part of, any uniquely American views or values that you possess that might not be shared by your host country. Always remember, your first duty while abroad is as a student ambassador. When people there see you, they see America, possibly the only face-to-face -face American contact they've ever had or ever will have. Be knowledgeable, respectful, and polite. In short, make us look good. When you're dealing with your host country's culture, it's helpful to remember that the most important parts of that culture aren't always easy to see. Consider an iceberg. On the surface, you have easy to see facets of a new culture, what they wear, what they eat, how they tip their help, their artwork, the degree of eye contact, etc. Underneath, however, you have a much deeper, murkier group of attributes that form the foundation of a culture. Things like views on equality, the unspoken rules of politeness, their relationship with nature, their attitudes towards sexuality or beauty, etc. These aren't as easy to see or mimic as surface trends of a culture, but they're extremely important to at least get some kind of grasp on before you immerse yourself in their way of life. One way to get yourself up to speed is to take the free online course for students studying abroad provided by globalscholar.us. You can also get Maximizing Study Abroad, a student's guide to strategies for language and culture learning and use. It's an almost free book you can buy off of Amazon for a few cents plus shipping. And it's a fantastic source for tips on how to handle a new culture. During the course of your cultural adjustment, you'll hit a few stages that you'll want to be ready for. First, just before you depart, you'll experience the high stage. You're so excited to travel, you're ready to soak in everything this opportunity has for you. Then, when you arrive, there's the super high. You're just off the plane, everything is brand new and amazing, and you couldn't be more excited. Now, get ready, because the next part can be a real bucket of cold water. Once the super high has worn off and you're trying to settle into your new home, you'll probably realize that quite a few of your expectations about what this place would be like aren't being met. Whether it's the scenery, the food, the people, or some other harder to define aspect of their culture that gets you down, you're going to experience the low stage. Don't worry, it gets better. Once you've settled in and had some time to adjust, you'll equalize out to the middle stage 
where you've acclimated to some of the things you didn't expect and reached an equilibrium with your surroundings. It's important to note that you might go back and forth between the stages a few times as different facets of the host culture pop up. That's completely normal. In all cases, just give it some time and you'll be back to middle again. You might also experience homesickness, and that's normal too. Suddenly being without your normal family, friends, food, language, and culture triggers a very strong response in the brain. And it's important to maintain contact with family and friends for that very reason. Oftentimes, being unhappy with a part of your study abroad experience is just homesickness in disguise. You're experiencing cultural adjustment, the reality of existing in a new place. Bring a few choice mementos with you. A couple of pictures can make all the difference in the world. Give it some time and remember to enjoy yourself. There are also some very real, negative, potential side effects of traveling abroad, such as depression. If you experience any major difficulties, let your study abroad advisor know right away. Finally, when you return home, you might experience the reverse of cultural adjustment shock, which we'll call cultural readjustment shock. If you're having any trouble readjusting to your original environment, the study abroad office has resources to help you out with that too. Contact us. Thanks for watching. In the description below this video, you'll find links to the rest of the videos in this series, as well as links to various sections of this video, in case you want to review anything in particular. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact the CSUF Study Abroad Office.